platform. All of you are here. And that you took your time out to come to be with us. And I just didn't know Sean could preach like this. Oh, she can go. Everybody's been telling me that. And I just said, Sean? Yeah. But we thank God for you and yes, the congregation, yes. all of them that came up here. And I really, I, I really feel all full inside because sometimes when people do nice things for you, you don't really know how to appreciate them. And all of you don't know me, and I don't know you, but you still came. Hallelujah. You still came. Yes. And the Bible does say if one wants to have friends, you must first show yourself friendly. Yes. And you have shown us friendship today. And we want to show you friendship. Yes. We want to come back down there and oh, be with yes. you. Amen. Yes. All of our church family is here. Has been coming every night and being a blessing in the ministry and in the service. I tell you one thing: you can't lose with the stuff we use. We use him, 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 him. And sometimes we think we say, "Well, I'm not coming. I don't have time, and I don't feel like it." We can't go on what we feel. The Word of God tells us to be faithful unto death. And death is on the other side of all this. He tells us to do the things that are right. Treat people right. Be nice to people. And sometimes you don't know how you make a person feel when you be nice to them. Sometimes we want to say, well, they didn't do this. and they didn't. I am not responsible for what anybody else does. I'm only responsible for what I do. I'm not responsible for how you treat me. I'm responsible for how I treat and I've learned down through the years that God is a faithful God. Now, if I don't know anything else, I know He's faithful. I was sick, and the doctors really thought I was going to die. I stayed in the hospital 30 days with infection in my body, tubes everywhere, couldn't eat, couldn't drink. They was poking medicine in me. And you know, one time I actually thought I was going to die. But I was laying in the bed one night and I just looked up. I said, God, what's happening here? I said, my children are here. My grandchildren are here. How am I going to go through this? And the Lord spoke to me. He said, you're not going to die, but live. And I grabbed hold of faith. And I tell you that the medicines that they were giving me, they started working. The infection got out of my body. And I'm here to tell the story. And if I don't do nothing else, I'm going to serve God. I'm going to love God. I'm going to treat you right. Because I know there's a blessing at the end of the world. And I haven't gotten to the end, but he promised me that if I be faithful unto death, he'd give me a crown of life. And I'm working for the crown. I don't know what you're working for. You may be working for people, for church. I'm working for the crown. And a crown that faith is not away. That's what I'm looking for. And I just praise God for our, our pastor and Superintendent Johnson. He's a good old guy. And I tell him I love him to death. Wouldn't trade him for all the tea in China. He treats me like a lady. He allows me to be myself. Sometimes I even have to pull his choke chain. You know, he gets carried away. But sometimes I have to pull his choke chain. But I'm telling you, he's, he's a good man. He's an integral man. And I don't care what people say and how people say things. I know he's got integrity, and I stand on his integrity. I don't care what they say about him. I know the true man. And I love him to death. I wouldn't trade him for all the tea in China. That's a lot of tea. That's a lot of tea, ain't you? That's a lot to me, but I praise God for him allowing me to be myself. Sometimes he try to push me, you know, to do a little bit of something else that I don't want to do. But, you know, I appreciate him allowing me to be myself. And for all of you that took the time out, thank you so much. And we love you dearly. If there's anything that we can do, we'll be willing to do it, to come back, do the things over again, and give you a good word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you.